<sighs> My lord. Let me say this. And you may disagree with me. And that is okay. But usually when some people disagree with you, they only see one piece or just pieces of that entire picture. So your opinion about the pieces that you see may be correct, but because you don't see that entire picture, your perception is going to be off. I was at this church. I was helping out there. I believe it was me and 10 other people, I believe. This one person came in asking for prayer. So we formed a circle and started to pray for this person. And I was thinking that it was going to be a very simple prayer, you know, an everyday prayer. When they started to pray for this person, I could feel when this woman was talking, I could feel the presence of God like, boom, really fast. And not only that, I could feel the presence increase. I am not sure, but have you ever heard a very large bell ring? Or have you been close to a very large bell and heard it ringing? And if I am thinking correctly, if you are really close to a very large bell while it is ringing, I believe that at times you may be able to feel the vibrations in you. When they was praying, that is what I felt. You know, for instance, when the bell is ringing, like ding, 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 ding. Every time when the bell would ring, you would feel it, right? That is how it was while they was praying. I could feel it wave after wave after wave after wave my lord in a very powerful way it was like i don't want to confuse anyone it was like i could feel the inner me and i am not saying that there is a demon within me no i am not saying that but i could feel the other part of me, I don't know how to explain it. But that powerful, but that prayer was extremely powerful. I was amazed. So what am I trying to say? What you need to do, you need to go to church. I know that you are going to say that Many of these churches are corrupted. They only want your money. They are fake, false prophets and teachers. If you know a church is bad, don't go to it. Go to a church that is good. Go to a church that teaches against sin. Go to a church that is right. I believe the reason why there are so many lukewarm people, 
Now, there may be people who actually want to serve God, but let me say this. Some people need their hand held. Some people have the desire to serve God, but they are too weak. On their own, they are too weak. They need people there to push them or to... They need people there so they can draw strength from other people. Some people are just too weak. It is not that they want to sin, but they are just too weak. So when they choose to not go to church or go around people who serve God, they are going to continue to fail. If you want to serve God, why not be around people who actually serve God? Some people need that support system there they need it and i am not saying that is a bad thing but some people need someone there for them it is one thing to watch youtube videos or to speak to people over the internet but no you need a person face to face go to church well kevin i can read the bible on my own and I can do this on my own yeah but is it working for you no even with myself now I am not saying that I constantly sin and stuff like that but it would be good for me to attend church anyways I don't need my hand held but it would be good for me to go to church anyways because being in that place when they was praying that was amazing like i had this big smile on my face and and just hearing other people who serve god talk about god and preaching and stuff like that like <laughs> i had a big old smile on my face you know amazing man I have been to other churches and things are just dead. But being at that one church, like big old smile, man, just feel the presence of God like boom. Amazing. I am telling you, there is a difference <laughs> when you are around people who actually serve God. There is a huge difference. You can say that you can stay home and read your Bible on your own and pray on your own. Okay. But I believe many people continue to fail at serving God because they are just too weak. You need help. And that is not a bad thing. Myself. Years ago, I was going to church perhaps two to three times a week because I had to go two or three times a week because I was really, really weak. Even now, well, I won't say <laughs> I'll be bored out my mind going to church three times a week now, but it would be a good thing for me to go to church now or more often and I am not saying that you have to go to church 1,000 times a week I am not saying that but it is going to help you because you are weak in Christ until you get on your feet and able to walk then you can choose to do your own thing but until then you need a support system which is not a bad thing to say you should not be prideful about that dude i was going to church for years 
constantly going twice a week for years. Some people see me and believe that everything just happened like that. No, I was going to church for years. This one church I was going to, I believe I was going there, I forget how many years, let's say five or six years straight. I think more than that. And for many of those years, I was going twice a week. And sometimes more. About twice a week, yes. Years. But you believe that, hey, Kevin, you know, I used to serve Satan and now I am turning to Christ. And since there are many bad churches out there, I can read the Bible on my own and pray on my own and everything is going to be fine. You are fresh in Jesus Christ. Why do you believe that you are going to be strong enough in serving God when you were serving yourself or Satan all these years? You have been an atheist for all these years and believe that you are strong enough to serve God on your own. How crazy is that? Ever since I was a child, I was going to church. Then when I became 18, I stopped going to church from 18 to 21, I believe. And I was going to church around 22, I believe. And then I was still doing my own thing, whatever, you know, sinning and stuff like that. But I was constantly going to church. I went to some bad churches too, but I was going to church. But for years, <laughs> no, but you just came from new age or you came from uh, witchcraft. You came from Satanism. Kevin, I can do this on my own now. Yes, I came from that demonic stuff, but hey, I can serve God on my own and I don't need any help. How foolish is that to say, man? Even with me, I believe I need help too. I need someone to pray with. I need someone to read with because the more people you do it with, the more power it is. When you are praying or praising God and you are doing it with other people and you all are in uh, agreement, agreeing with each other with what you are praying for and what you are doing, what you are doing for God is going to be much more powerful. Whatever group you are in, let's say that you are trying to feed the hungry or pass out Bibles or do things of God. If you all are on one accord, if I am saying that right, if you all are on one accord, what you are doing is going to be much more powerful. Let's say, you know, I pass out Bibles and stuff like that. Let's say that there are five other people who actually serve God. Help, help me out. What we are doing is going to be much more powerful. If it is going well with just me, imagine how great it would be if more people would help me and join me pass out Bibles. Our ministry would be so great because if one is doing well imagine a whole gang of people it would be amazing you need to go to church i may need to go to church more because seeing what happened and actually being there and feeling what happened 
amazing. Very, very amazing. I don't think I have felt something like that in years. Mm. Yes, maybe years. One or two years, three years, maybe three years. I forget. Powerful. So let me stop right there. God bless.